Okay, so it's come to the time where I actually have to make laundry soap because I'm running really low. I've been doing this for a couple of years now and you know, I mean, it's worked really well for our family. I said laundry soap in quotations because some people argue whether or not it's soap or not and I don't know, I'm not really getting into that argument. I just know that it works for us and it saves us a ton of money. I mean, last time I checked, five gallons lasted my family about six months. So that's really, really good, especially when you're spending $20, $25 for all of it. And um, I mean, that's just really, really a good price. So with that said, I just want to tell you what I use in mine. A lot of people put different things in theirs, but this is just what I use in mine. I use a Zote bar and I use the 14 ounce. It smells good and it's nice and thick. It's a lot thicker than the Melspapa, if that's how you pronounce it, bar. And that's why I went with the Zote bar. I use Borax. Arm & Hammer baking soda, the Laundry Booster by Arm & Hammer, containers for your soap because we're making five gallons. I use the half gallon ball containers. I use a bunch of those just because that's what I had on hand. You can certainly use milk jugs or anything you have on hand. And also a mixer of some sort. This cost me like $5 at the hardware store and it just hooks up to a drill and it's just easier for me to mix it in the five gallon bucket because this is going to gel overnight and it just makes it easier but you can use a stir stick if you want to as well so anyway let's get right on to the video on how to make it the first step in making your soap is to take a stock pot and fill it with water I would say about halfway or so, you only need enough to dissolve your ingredients. Next, take your laundry soap bar of choice, I chose Zoot, and make sure that you have some sort of utensil to grade down your soap bar to shavings. At this point, it's really important to shave them down because we will be putting them in the stock pot. Now take your shavings and pour them into your stock pot. Stir really well at this point until the shavings are at least almost fully dissolved. Now that our shavings are fully dissolved and melted, we can start adding our other ingredients. First up is a quarter cup of borax, a half a cup of baking soda, and a half a cup of laundry booster. At this point, what you want to do is to continue to stir down all your ingredients until everything is fully dissolved and you will start to see the mixture thicken. As our soap continues to thicken, I'm just going to start filling up the five gallon bucket that we have here um, with some water. Then I'm going to add the mixture that we have to the five gallon bucket. I would say to it's about at least an inch away from the rim. That's about as high as I go when I fill it. Okay, so at this point what I do is I put my five gallon bucket with my soap in it in a cool place so that way it can gel. It will gel faster in a, in a cooler place for sure. How long it takes to gel, I mean, depending on how cool the area is. I personally just leave it overnight and in the morning I fill my jars. The next morning the soap gelled up really well. As you can see, it is nice and firm. If you see that your soap hasn't gelled, no worries, you can still use it just the same. Next, I take my mixer and I just start breaking up the soap a little bit. It just makes it easier before you start drilling um, or before you start taking any one of your tools and mixing, breaking it up makes it a lot easier for that process. Now that we have the right consistency, we start filling up our jars. Okay, here is the finished product, beautiful laundry detergent that is gentle on your clothes and super inexpensive to make, guys. And just a quick little tip for you, for a large load of laundry, I use about a half a cup, but if it is super soiled, I'll use about a full cup. Enjoy and thank you for watching.